evening and welcome. This is uh, the news at 6 on MITV. I am Tumisi Adebukola. The Senate President Ahmed Lawan has charged students of National Institute of Legislative and Democratic Studies to conduct themselves with the highest level of discipline and commitment. The Senate President, who was represented by Senator Bill Barakuma, Degi Eromenyo, gave the charges in Abuja on Monday while commending the Institute for its tenacity in the interest of democracy. He noted that the program will enhance the ability of participants to critically examine the notion of practice far beyond exposure. Our correspondent Linda Ike reports that the Vice Chancellor of the University of Benin, Professor Lilian Salami, who was represented by Professor Felix Okeme, noted that the programs taught are expected to help students build a more democratic society that will be a pride of all. In his remarks, the Director General of the National Institute of Legislative and Democratic Studies, Nils, Professor Abubakar Sulaiman, said, The legislative framework has been passed by some state houses of assembly, as well as other countries of the world, to give the NILDS an international recognition. that participants have often been either reminded of some salient processes or told about new ones. I therefore commend you for your tenacity, just as I am confident that you will continue on this path, not just for the benefit of the legislature, but also in the interest of democracy and good governance. It is heartening to see a new set of students for the postgraduate program. And even more exciting to note that you are now in the ninth session of matriculation. This is commendable. Similar bills are under consideration in other states as well assembly, including Delta states. At the continental level, the Parliament of Benin Republic has established a parliamentary institute model on needs. During the COVID-19 pandemic, when all institutions of higher learning were shut down, as we're experiencing now with the ASU strike, the Institute ensured that our core activities were sustained through the effective deployment of ICT platforms. Similarly, as a way of solving the paucity and inadequacy in legal drafting in Nigeria and as well as on the continent, students, our expectations of you are very high. We believe that as mature students, you will, be, you will not disappoint us Rather, you will be the best that you could possibly be and be among our students and graduates who are writing the university's name into relevance everywhere. As you settle down to your studies here, therefore, let discipline be your watchword. We pray for your well-being to help you articulate your, to actualize your goals here. Finally, I enjoin you today to take a personal stand to excel in your choosing career, both for your personal development and for the advancement of our dear country, Nigeria. I thank you for...